Where's the kebabs? 20 minutes late, so I hope you'll be here. Yeah. Disappointing. I know. Alright everyone, today I'm at Aquarium Gardens with Ty and Dave, the owner. Hello. And today, we're, or well, this evening, we are going to scope these two 90 centimetre tanks and in a very unique configuration. So they've been kind of joined together almost like an L shape. And then the idea is we're gonna have a, almost like a coherent piece of hardscape flowing all the way through. And the kind of overall concept is representing the east of the world and the west of the world. So all the plant species in here, and I guess the fish will be using from the west, so mainly North and South American plants. And then Eastern plants from here, so ferns, etc., bucophalandras, crypts, whatever. And then have a adjoining piece of wood kind of between them to, like I say, form this coherent kind of theme. So, yeah, exciting. Two 90 centimetre scapes in one day, one evening. Look forward to it, Dave. Can't wait. Can't and Ty. Got some kebabs coming. We have. Fuel up, fuel up. What time are they coming, mate? Right, 10 minutes. So Dave's going to configure his hardscape first and then I'll do mine. And then the idea is we're going to kind of form a nice strong hardscape composition leading up to each corner and then find a smaller piece of wood to kind of join the two tanks together. In terms of equipment, this is an Awaze Scaper Line 90. This is an Aquascaper 900. Lighting, solar RGB from ADA and the new Hyperbar from Skylight. 75? Yes. Centimetre? Yeah. Uh, both been cleaned, uh, completely stripped down, and yeah, it's going to be a fun evening. Okay, so Dave's got his, uh, we've got a base layer of ADA power sand. Yep. And then this is Tropica soil. Tropica soil, yes. Two bags. Two bags so far. And then, what stone is that, Dave? That's this one. is a brand new one called Black Elderly Stone. Black Elderly. Yeah. Nice, and then we've got some regular kind of driftwood. Yep. And then this is the same concept, but we're using the brown Owasso scape soil with the ADA soil underneath. So Dave's going to finish his hardscape and then I'll, I'll do mine and then we'll find hopefully a nice piece to join them together. Hopefully. And then hopefully kebabs. Where's the kebabs? 20 minutes late, so hopefully you'll be here. Isn't it? Disappointing. I know. But we do have some <laughs> lovely sweets. Check these out. Left over from Halloween. No one likes Palmer violets, do they? I hate them. It tastes like lavender. No, they were saying it tastes like soap. It does taste a bit soapy. Well, that's the lavender, isn't it? It's uh, awful. That's why the purple as well. I didn't need any. However, I do like love hearts. Oh. Let's see what the uh, first love heart is. I'll be your fish friend, it says. It's like like the worst <laughs> version of blood brother. Fish possible. love. <laughs> fish love. Um, the, the tension just... What's it going to be, guys? What's it going to be? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's just a flipping emoji. Oh. Boring. Yeah. Kebab man. Oh, bestie. I'll take that. Here you go, mate, bestie. Yes, yes, yes. Do you have to thank you. Oh, I need it. But, suck uh, suck oh. on it really hard. You doing more wood? Yeah, yeah like, quite a bit more, yeah. Yeah. Come up here with another bit. Big bit coming up here as well. Huh? Yeah. It's about 45 degrees. Pretty sturdy, I think. All right, my turn. Your turn. Cool. Oh. Swap. Don't think and it will be quite as strong as yours, but we'll see what we can do. Mm. Okie dokie, so here's the hardscape pretty much complete. West, east. So I've gone for the brown soil and the dragonstone to kind of keep it thematic. Dave's gone for the black elderly. Black elderly stone, yeah. Uh, same kind of wood, but obviously we've got a dark soil here. This is a tropical soil, a bit more contrasting, which is lovely. And we're preparing the plants right now. I'm just deciding what I'm going to go for. There's no hair grass at the moment in any of the displays, so it makes sense to use hair grass. That's from Asia, where it's quite cosmopolitan, so you can find it in other places as well. I think the Ericale on Vietnam is a good shout, really easy. Probably put that as a transitional plant around the island. Probably some crips around here. Uh, some mid-ground crips, maybe Nuri You got any of that yeah, in stock? Yeah, yeah, yeah Nuri is really lovely. Um, Bisa Philandras, no Anubias, but we are going to use Anubias as a kind of transitional plant because it is in between the east and the west. This is going to be our joining piece, which we'll fix in at some point. And it'd be nice to have 
plants obviously growing over here as well. So I'll probably use some terrestrial kind of plants there. Background, probably some stems, some easy stems, hygrophilas or limnophila. Uh, that makes sense. So yeah, lots of options. Dave, what are your plants? Um, so Monte Carlo is going to be the main carpet plant. plant. And then yeah. we're going to put some um, hydrocotyl vertus salata to mix in with that. It's kind of a classic mix there. Yeah, it's a good mix, yeah. Uh, Potentially such Sagittarius sub subulata back here. Yeah, how tall do you reckon that'll get? Or you find it a bit random how tall it goes? Yeah, I think it depends on the light, so I'm not really sure. But I'm hoping about mid height, really, about there. Yeah. I'm hoping. Okay. And then uh, Ludwigia, probably Super Red or Reapens Rubin in the back corner yeah, here. Yeah, nice. And a big Echinodorus, a South American Echinodorus. In the oh, back cool. Corner. Will that grow out the top as well? Yeah, we've yeah. got some actually uh, mature stuff already, so it should, should be straight out of the water. Lovely. Uh, on the wood, there's not many South American or American plants that are epiphytes. We're going to do some moss and some hemianthus, Calatricoides, Cuba on the wood. Yeah, Stavagyne, mm, it's not so good actually. I've got a little patch here though, because yeah. like, some soil, which we could whack it in there. Yeah, that's a good shout. Okay, the tank's fully planted. Very happy. So, different species. We've got dwarf hair grass as the main carpeting. That's leading into the Erocam Vietnam. And then we've got a couple of different Bucephalandras. This is Bucephalandra cerebium brown, I think it is, a needle leaf. And then we have different mosses. We've got weeping moss, Ricardia fissidens. And then a couple of different crypts. We've got Cryptogorna undulatus red or broadleaf. And then Cryptocorneo Beta Brown. And then over on the left, we've got Cryptocryne Wendertii Brown. And the stem plants in the back are Limnophyllum aquatica. And then Limnophila hyperoides and Rotala Green. This can be trimmed in a triangular composition to suit the hardscape. And then Hydrocotyl tripartita is an epiphyte as well. That's going to kind of form a nice, easy cascading epiphyte, which can be trimmed according to our desire. And then moving over to Dave's Western scape, we've got an Echinodorus in the back. Is that pale Paleofolius in the back? Yes. Got some Hemianthus cuba as an epiphyte with some mosses, Staragoni repens in uh, kind of mid ground, Hydrocotyl verticalata with Monte Carlo carpet mix, which is a classic. Liliopsis brasiliensis as another carpeting plant. And uh, same wood, hardscape, but we've got the elderly black, black elderly stone. There's some Ananthium. Oh, yeah, Sagittaria. You got Sagittaria? Yeah, in the back. And then Halanthium right. Quadrico status as well? Yes. Nice. I'll pop back tomorrow probably once they're filled and the filters are fitted and everything. But what a great evening we've had. It's really nice to hang out with the guys and have a good bit of fun scaping and planting and eating junk food and drinking Coke. What more could you ask for? So here we are, the finished products, almost 24 hours later. Tanks are filled, filters are running. CO2 running yet? Yeah, not on yet, no, we've just, uh, just put the filters on the lights. CO2 yeah. next. They look great. Yeah. Very, diff they're very different, but they've still got the same kind of vibe with the wood. And yeah. then we've got this really lovely piece of wood here, but we've got something. To... Yeah, so we're adding Africa basically, aren't we, in the middle? Yeah, so, so just to remind, if you. If you remember from the beginning of the vlog, this is Eastern uh, representation. So all plants from basically Asia, and then we've got all plants from the Americas. And then in between, if you think of the planet Earth, we've got Africa, which is geographically located in between mm -hmm. the West and the East. So we've got Anubius, which is of course uh, West um, African. And then- There's Anubius Cassius up here as well. So that'll go really nicely immersed. It actually goes better immersed than the, underwater um it'd be cool if you could find some sort of a, a ferns or something out yeah there. yeah like bulbitis or something like that yeah that's a good shout perhaps yeah we could, oh yeah you could even i mean you could have bulbitis and then you could have a 
Fogger or something. That would look cool. Moist, yeah. yeah, and it would keep these from drying out. Mm, yeah, something to think about. But what else have we got here, Dave? Potentially another bit of wood. And we were just found this off our delivery today. And actually, Dean was hunting through and uh, found this piece. Perfect. And we brought it over, and it actually fits a bit further back really well. And we could join it. We glue it on my side over here, and then we could glue it on George's side over there. Yeah. With this kind of connecting piece. So this, these, these two skates basically are representing connection, aren't they? Yeah. And a lot, it's really interesting because when you get two scapers together with tanks next to each other, people assume it's going to be a scape off and there's this natural kind of human instinct to compete, but this is like a collaboration. And uh, I think it shows off like a really good range of products, of course, different plants, substrates, the wood's the same. Hardscape's different. I've got dragon stone to that kind of, in my mind is more, Asian theme, yeah. it's like a dragon, yeah, you know, like dragon Chinese like it, sort of yeah. thing, and then this is more kind of mountainous, kind of that you'd find in you know um, Eastern Europe or something yeah. like that, because it is like yeah. called elderly stone, yeah. which yeah. kind of reminds us of Frodo, which comes from Eastern Europe as well. Yeah. So it's great. Yeah, so happy, really pleased with it, really pleased with the outcome. Yeah. Had lots of fun, didn't we? We did, it was proper <laughs> like boys, boys night, which, you know, don't get, often, don't get to do that too often these days. So yeah, thanks Dave for inviting me. You're welcome, thanks for, thanks for your help. Cop pop in store, where can people find you? Huntingdon, uh, go on to crayongardens.co.uk, social media, Instagram, YouTube. Yeah, I'll leave links in the description. And before we go, let's have a little look at this little fella down here. So, uh, exclusive, this is now going to be for sale by the time this vlog comes out. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled on the Aquarium Garden website. I've been growing this in for a few months and it's just looking really lovely, isn't it? Yeah, like, hopefully I'll get it on the website for you before this video goes out so it's yeah. available to purchase. But if not, just keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. All right, thanks Dave. No worries, thank you. All right, thanks for watching everyone, take care. Oh, and let us know, it's got to be a competition. <laughs> Which is your favourite? What dragon's going to look the best in the long term? Mm -hmm.